the built-up wooden beam shown is subjected to a vertical shear of 8 kN. If the nails are spaced longitudinally every 60 mm, what is the shearing force in the nails at location A? This is the third example for the shear flow and thin walled members main video. The links to the other examples in that main video are in the description below. From that main video, we know that the force in the nails can be calculated by multiplying the shear flow lowercase q times the spacing of the nails. The shear flow will be that at the plane between the members that are being joined by the nail. If all the dimensions are given, as well as the second moment of area, which has to be that for the entire cross-section, what we really need to calculate is the first moment of area q. That first moment of area would be the area of the shaded region times the distance from the neutral axis to the centroid of that shaded region. And again, just like in example 1, link below, this distance is a vertical distance, not a horizontal one. The reason for this is because the shear force is a vertical shear force. The area would be a base of 50 and a height of 100, and the y-bar distance would be half of 400 minus half of 100. With the value for Q, the shear force V, and the given second moment of area, we would have the shear flow Q, which when multiplied by the distance between nails, would give us a force in each nail equal to 239 newtons. The links to the other main topics of the mechanics of materials, as well as the other examples from the shear flow and thin walled members video, are linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.